Women have choices. Men have responsibilities. I want you to remember this, guys. Women have choices and men have responsibilities. And that is reality. No matter how you cut it, that is how it's been since the beginning of time. Women have always had more choices while men have always had more responsibility. Okay, let's dive into this a little bit, bit deeper. So when it comes to men, uh, we are pretty much expected, literally by society, by our families, by the mainstream. We are expected to be strong, we're expected to be leaders, we're expected to be breadwinners, we're expected to take care of women, treat women with respect, uh, we're expected to automatically just suppress our emotions, suppress our insecurities, just kind of the, the follies of being a human being in order to appear strong, in order to appear as a leader, right? Being a man ain't easy, okay? And even the women who've tried to become men, look at what's happening now, right? Society is trying to turn all these women into men. What's happening with these women? Call them feminists, by the way. What is happening with these women? They are getting depressed. They are getting depressed, miserable, they're crying, some are feeling suicidal for the first time in their lives, and they're finally getting a taste of what it's like to be a man, okay? A lot of responsibility comes with being a man. A lot of it is emotional toughness, okay? A lot of it's emotional toughness. We have to be like this throughout our entire lives, right? You have to have durability for that. You have to have internal strength. You have to have mental discipline, self-efficacy, mental maturity, all of these things that we are expected to develop on our own. And to make matters even worse, society isn't even helping us anymore. They're not even encouraging us to be men. What they're trying to do is they're trying to encourage us to suppress being a man even more, right? Which drives guys nuts. It drives young boys nuts. Boys need to, need to rough house with each other. They need to play cops and robbers. They need to chase each other around. Might need to get in a fight, you know, once or twice when you're a kid just to kind of prove your worth. You have all of these responsibilities. Whereas for women, women just have choices, to be honest with you, right? And I'm not taking anything away from them. I mean, they really just have choices. Even when they choose to be like a man, when they choose to enter the corporate world, to not become housewives, when they choose to try to climb the career ladder, when they choose to get a professional degree or a postgraduate degree, whether they're masters or doctors, they're making that choice. And they're making the choice to take on the responsibility of a man. When they could easily just been the housewife if they wanted to, right? That's like a dirty word these days. Oh, just want to be a housewife. Ah, oh, shame on you, girl. You should want to be a man and get, get the same type of money as a man. You're making that choice. Men, we don't have a choice, okay? We don't have a choice. And even for the guys who choose to become like house husbands, you hear some of these guys, right? They just become house husbands while their wives work. These guys are totally shamed out, you know, they're shamed off their ass, right? They're shamed by family members, shamed by like buddies they grew up with. They're just shamed by society. It's like, what are you, the girl, you little bitch, huh? With your little apron, right? The guy gets shamed, you know? And rightfully so, because that's not his place as a man. His place as a man is to be out there grinding. His place as a man is to be out there pounding the pavement, creating and leaving his legacy for future generations in his family, for society. All right, so as men, we have that responsibility. But as for women, they don't have to take on that responsibility. It's just like going off to war, right? Going off to war, they have a choice. Remember when there was a draft back in the day? My dad was part of that. They tried to draft him, right, into Vietnam, the Vietnam War. Tried to draft my dad. He had no choice. He had to take on the responsibility. Whereas for women, they weren't drafting women. They had a choice. Hey, you want to join the army? You can join. Probably get killed, but you can join. You could just stay back behind and you could just go to school, get your degree, stay here where it's nice and safe. You don't have to go off to Laos, you know, in Vietnam and uh, like 
sleep in the swamp in the middle of the night or anything like that. You don't have to go off to World War I or World War II like my grandfathers did. Don't have to do that, girl. You can stay behind and you have the choice to just work, get a job, help provide for your family, or just be a housewife. Women always have choices. Men, nope, not really. We have to take on those responsibilities of being a man. There's no choice for us. And like I said, this is why women are so miserable who try to become men today. They try to take on the role of the man and they hate it. They hate it. They like that, they like that sweet paper. They like that sweet greenback, sweet dollars, those ducats. They like that, but they don't want to have to put in the work for it. And this is why you hear feminists always complain about like gender pay gap. There's no freaking gender pay gap, man. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? What gender pay gap? You know, I've made this argument for because they're like, we don't get paid as much as a man does in the same job. And it's like, because A, you don't negotiate as hard. B, you take way more time off, especially for childbearing when you have a kid, right? And then when you have that kid, you're taking time off, more vacation time. You're not working those overtime hours. You're leaving work early, coming to work late because you have to bring him to his dental appointment or his soccer game or whatever else he has going on, you're taking way more time off. And it's like, if we're both working the same job, you work a full eight hour shift and she works five hours, takes three hours off. Should she get paid the same? No, okay, no. But that's what they're trying to argue. Oh, gender pay gap, gender pay gap. I took time off, so what? And it just goes in line with women's inability to take responsibility for their choices that we give them, right? Society gives them these choices that we give them. They, they can't even take responsibility for that. But at the end of the day, women have choices and men do not. They love to want to become men, right? Women want to become men and be like men and act like men until they're on the Titanic. Then they're back to being women. Oh, give me the boat, give me the lifeboat. I don't wanna stay on the ship and die. I'm not going down, I'm not going under. I don't wanna be, I'm a woman, I'm a woman. What's wrong with you? Respect women. All of a sudden they turn right back into a woman. I remember there was this uh, ship, I think it was the Concord, it was called like the Concord or the Concourse, somewhere in Australia, I think. A few years back, that was uh, sinking. And they said like, men were like literally just jumping on the lifeboat. Like, totally didn't care, and the women were just blown away that the guys just didn't even care. They weren't trying to save them anymore. They weren't trying to, like, give them first dibs on the, the lifeboat. No, these dudes were just getting on. And some of them were even making the comment, like, oh, haven't you seen all these superhero movies with all these women? Like, you guys are supposed to be superheroes. You don't need us. I'm getting on the lifeboat, right? Hey, why didn't you just turn into Wonder Woman? Right? That's what you do in the movies, right? You're the superhero beating up all these big masculine men. Do that now. And the choices are especially easy for women who are the least bit attractive. I'm talking over a six, seven in looks. They don't have to be freaking guest models or anything like that or runway models. They could be a six or seven in looks. Just kind of cute, maybe a few pounds overweight. Those girls have choices. Why? Society's just gonna cater to them for their physical attractiveness. So they could get by, I mean, pretty much up until their, you know, even up until their 30s and 40s, even these former hotties are still being able to extract value out of beta males out there, thirsty betas. They're able to extract attention, money, free room and board, you know, free shelter, free cars. These guys are like buying free cars and all that other shit. Um, I haven't heard of too many women buying their man a car, but I've definitely heard of the reverse, right? A lot of these women getting free cars, free rent, uh, don't have to do a thing for it, just look pretty, smell good, and they get respect that way. Whereas for men, we only gain respect through agency, through accountability, through making wise decisions. But once the second we screw up, everybody turns on us. You're a loser, you're washed up, you're a failure, you're never gonna go anywhere in life, whereas for women, they don't have to jump through these hoops and barrels that men do. Why? Because at the end of the day, women have choices and men have responsibility. And the more choices women have, the more responsibility men has. No matter what it is, guys, you see them like trying to ramp up like uh, funding for like Planned Parenthood and abortions and all that, who's gonna have to bear that responsibility? Men. 
We're gonna have to deal with it when these single mothers have these kids out of wedlock and then they become adults, they become violent criminals in society. Who's gonna have to take care of that? We are, okay? We are. You don't even have to be a cop to take care of it. Like we're gonna have to deal with these pricks when they get older, right? This is why I'm so against single motherhood. It's like the most selfish, selfish thing that you could possibly do to another life and to the rest of society, right? is become a single mother, raise that child without a father, without a strong male role model, where he becomes this like rambunctious adult and he's out there committing violent crimes, harming people, raping people, lighting fires to people, animals, and doing all sorts of horrendous shit like that. Women aren't gonna be able to stop that, stop that type of man. You know who can only stop that type of guy? Another man, us. We have to take on the responsibility for their actions right for their choices so make no mistake guys at the end of the day women have choices men have responsibilities and uh, I mentioned this girl this woman before she was a feminist book writer her name was Nora something I can't remember Nora something but they featured her on 2020 like several years ago she did uh, kind of a documentary where she went undercover as a man just to show how much privilege men have this feminist wanted to prove how much privilege that men have as men and wanted to just show how racist we all are and bigot and like misogynist so she went undercover as a man and you know what she discovered during her time she discovered how hard it was to be a man she talked about being on the brink of just like a nervous breakdown having suicidal thoughts crying just trying to keep up being a man. She talked about how she went on dates, like she went on a few online dates, and just how the women treated her. She was like, it was so horrendous how women treat men and how they make them just jump through all of these like obstacles just to even get any type of value from them. She talked about how hard and how difficult and how complex it is to be a man and also to top it off, the fact that nobody is helping them. She was like, they're just on their own. They're just like doing this. She's like, I don't know how they do this. They just do it. She was like, when, when my experiment, my little social experiment, experiment was over and I went back to being a woman, she was like, I was so relieved. I was so relieved I didn't have to be a man anymore. I was so relieved that I'm a woman. I was so happy that I'm a woman and that I have all these choices. I don't have to take on the responsibilities that men do. Okay, and you can find that documentary on YouTube somewhere. Just type in uh, feminist uh, becomes man, and then her name was Nora something, I can't remember it, but she wrote a book on this, and some of you guys know what I'm talking about, and you've dropped the link below, so uh, feel free to do that as well. It just goes back to the fact that uh, women, they just have as much choice as they want. That's just the way it's gonna be. And you know, this is why I'm so against a lot of these leftist politicians getting in the office, even a lot of people on the right now, these rhinos getting in there and just creating more entitlements for women and more pedestalization of the feminine, because in the end, who pays for that? It's men. We pay for it through our wallets, through our having to risk our lives to deal with the backlash that comes from it, you know, especially if it's like single mothers and these kids get older. We're ultimately the ones who have to watch out for our communities, right? Women aren't out there, you know, protecting community, it's men. The burden always falls on our shoulders, guys. So remember that. At the end of the day, women have choices, men have responsibilities. With that said, let me know your thoughts below. Go ahead and let me know what you think about tonight's coaching video. If you have any more to add on it, I would love to hear it. If you have any stories you wanna share, I'd love to hear it. Always love reading your comments. Just share, 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 and the rest of the tribe can gain value from it as well. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is Matt Cross signing out from home. I have to do this every once in a while, right? I shoot from home. There is Cash and Gizmo all the way in the distance over there sleeping together. And yes, I'm actually at home. I'm not in Vegas yet, but uh, I'm probably going to take another trip in a couple of weeks because I'm already bored. I really don't like shooting from home. Till next time, don't forget to smash that like button below. Do it now. Smash the like button. Also, hit the notification bell, guys. Hit that notification bell as well so that you are notified whenever I upload a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube channel. And also whenever I live stream, a lot of you guys are complaining like, oh, I didn't get the message that you live streaming. That's why you gotta hit the notification bell as well, sir. 
Okay, so hit that notification bell too. And obviously you wanna make sure you're subscribed to my channel. That way you're notified and you know whenever I'm uploading new content or I'm going live, make sure you're subscribed because YouTube hates the fact that I'm teaching you guys this stuff. So I need you guys to make sure you're subscribed. That way it helps me reach other guys just like you and just like me, right? And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content that I'm teaching you even further, the best way to do that is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which I am hosting on a private platform away from YouTube. And the reason I'm doing that is protect my premium content from YouTube in the event they try to shut me down one day. They won't be able to because I'm paying for this premium platform. That's the absolute best way to support me and show that you love me and you love what I'm doing here and you want me to continue. And right now it's only a buck for the entire first month of premium alpha male secrets coaching lessons from me. It's only $1. So take advantage of it. And all you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.